All right. Uh, welcome to our next uh, class on thermodynamics relation. All right. Now we the next topic here is derivation of Maxwell equations. Maxwell equation. So let's get into this. All right, to derive the Maxwell equation, you have to remember three things first. You have to remember what we know as entropy, uh, Hermann function, and Gibbs function. So you can watch our tutorial on this uh, three uh, e uh, equations that I'm going to write. We have talked about them, we've proved them, and we've talked some examples of them uh, on our channel here. Yeah. All right, now, so the first thing here is entropy. Entropy is denoted with uh, H. So we are going to say H is equals to what is the formula for entropy? That is U plus what? PV. What is U? U is internal energy. P is what? Pressure. And B is what? Volume. And H here is what? Entropy. All right, the next one is Emma's function. Emma's function is denoted with what? F. So F is equals to u minus t s. All right. Uh, our f here is m h function. u here is internal energy, temperature, and what? Entropy. S here is entropy. All right. And uh, g, uh, sorry, Gibbs function is denoted with g. And the formula for that is what? h minus what? h minus t s. So let's call this equation 1. This equation two, this equation three. All right. Now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to differentiate these three equations. All right. So let's start with equation one. To differentiate equation one, we are going to have dh to be equals to du plus uh, no. What is here? We are having p and v. It's just like your product rule. Y equals to what u v. So we'll be using that formula. Here as well. Y is equal to UV means we are going to be having the formula dy dx to be equal to V du dx plus what? U dv dx. Right? So here we are going to have P dv plus what? V dp. All right. So let's call this equation four. So here the F will be equal to du minus T dx minus S dt. Equation number five. All right. The next one, dg is equal to dh minus t ds minus s dt equation number what? Six. All right. So these are the uh, differentiation of equation one, equation two, equation three. All right. You must also recall carefully from the first law of thermodynamics that dq, dq is equals to the u plus p dv. Let's call this equation number what? Seven. And from, you must also require as well from, if, uh, from the second law of thermodynamics that dq, dq is equals to what? P dx. Please take note of this. This is the from the first law of thermodynamics. This is from the second law of thermodynamics. All right. So, if you look at equation 7 and equation 8, we can equate them uh, accordingly. Because here we are having the Q, and here the Q is TDS, so we can equate this to this. So we are going to say TDS, TDS, TDS is equal to what? Is equal to DU plus PDV. DU plus PDV. All right. Now, if we make DU the subject, we make DU the subject, DU will be equals to what? T dS minus what? P dV. Right? All right. So let's call this equation nine. Equation nine. All right. Now, we are going to substitute equation nine into equation four, equation five. And uh, we're also going to do some substitution for equation six, but not now. But let's focus on equation 4 and equation 5. This is where we are having the U. We have the U here. We also have the U here. We don't have the U here. So from equation 4, from equation 4, from equation 4, 
We said the H. The H is equals to the U. The U plus P the V plus V the P. Right? All right. All right. Now, here we have the U to be equals to this. So we are going to replace the U here with what we have here. So we are substituting equation 9 into what? Equation 4. All right. So we are going to say the H is equals to P the S minus P the V plus P the V plus V the P. All right. So from here now, you will see that P the V, we cancel out P the V. Then the H will be equal to what? P the S plus what? V the P. So let's call this equation. Let's call this equation, equation number 10. All right. Now, again, from equation five, from equation number five, and what do we have in equation five? What do we have here? We have the F. We have the F, which is equals to what? Which is equals to the U, equals to the U minus, minus P the S, minus P the S, minus S the P. All right. Now, but we, Already established that the U is equal to TDS minus PDV. So we are going to substitute for the U here as well. So the F will be equal to TDS, TDS minus PDV, PDV. Then we are going to have minus TDS minus SDP. All right. So you are going to observe that TDS will cancel out PDS. Then we'll be left with what? We'll left with the F will be equals to minus P dV minus S D P. So let's put this in a bracket. All right. So let's call this equation level. All right. So now the next thing we are going to do is from equation six. From equation six. From equation six. From equation six, what do we have in equation six? What do we have in equation six? We have the G. We have the G. It will be equals to the G is equals to the H. The H minus T D S minus S D P. All right. Now, but from equation ten, from equation ten, we have uh, the H. To be equal to what TDS plus VDP. So from, from equation eight, the H is equal to TDS, TDS plus VDP. All right, so from equation 10. All right, so we are going to substitute the, uh, the H, that is TDS plus uh, VDP for the H in this equation and this equation is from from equation six all right so we are going to say the g is equals to t d s plus v d p minus t d s minus s d p all right so again what do you observe t d s we cancel out t d s all right so the g now will be equals to v d p minus s the P. All right, let's put this in a bracket as well. Then let's call this equation. I think we stop at equation level. Let's call this equation 12. All right. So now the reason why I'm putting them in brackets is this. We are going to be using them to derive our Maxwell equation. All right. So equation, equation 10, equation 11, and equation 12. And as well as equation nine. Let's put equation nine in bracket. All right. So we are going to be using equation nine, equation 10, equation 11, and equation 12 to derive our Maxwell equation. All right. Now, you need to recall carefully from our first class that we said that the Z is equal to what? Is equal to M V S plus what? N the y. And we said our m is equal to what? The partial derivative. We said uh, 
we said our m is equal to okay so let's not do that now this our m here we already established that this is an exact equation right now means if we differentiate our m that is the partial derivative of m all over the partial derivative of y keeping s constant is equal to the partial derivative of n all over what the partial derivative of s keeping y constant so this is an exact equation what this means is if we have this equation this is also true which we already established in our first uh, lecture i encourage you to watch that as well all right now you look at equation 9 equation 10 equation 11 and equation 12 they are just in this form you get that. So now we are going to rewrite, we are going to write them in this form. So writing them in this form gave birth to what Maxwell equations. All right. Now let's start with equation number nine. From equation nine, we have the u to be equals to c dx minus what minus p d v. All right. Now let's write what is here in this form. All right. We said the partial derivative of n respect all over the partial derivative of y. So here we are going to have the partial derivative of t all over the partial derivative of v keeping s constant, right? So it's going to be partial derivative of t all over the partial derivative of v of v keeping s constant, which will be equals to which will be equals to the partial derivative of n. And what you have here is what? Minus P. So we bring out the minus. Then partial derivative of P all over the partial derivative of S keeping V constant. So this is the first Maxwell equation. All right. So let's go for the second one. We are going to get the second one from here. All right. So we are going to see. So from equation 10. Equation 10 is the H. Then the h, the h is equals to c ds, c ds plus v dp. All right, let's write this in form of Maxwell equation now. It's going to be what? It's going to be the partial derivative of t all over the partial derivative of p, keeping s constant. Is going to be equals to what? It's going to be equals to the partial derivative of v. All over the partial derivative of s, keeping p constant. All right. Now the next one is from equation eleven. We have the f to be equals to minus p dv minus s dt. All right. So let's write this as well. We are going to have negative the partial derivative of p, partial derivative of p. All over the partial derivative of what of t, partial derivative of t, keeping v constant, which is equals to what, which is equals to the partial derivative of s, a bit minus. Keep bring out your minus. All over the partial derivative of what v, keeping s constant, right? Is that correct? Sorry, keeping t constant. Keeping t constant. So partial derivative of s, all of our partial derivative of it, keeping t constant. All right. So the next thing here is from equation, from equation twelve. So from equation twelve, we have the g. Look at it. We have the g equals to v dt minus. Uh, S dt. All right. From here, let's write this fully. Negative sign here, we cancel out negative sign. So the formula now can be the P all over the P, keeping V constant, equals to the S all over the V, keeping T constant. All right. So now let me rewrite uh, this here. Let's rewrite this here. So we are going to write equation 12 now. Then the G is equals to V dp, V dp minus S dt. 
All right, so let's write this in form of uh, uh, the differential equation. So we are going to have V, that is the partial derivative of V, all over the partial derivative of T, keeping uh, P constant is equals to, this is negative, right? Bring out your negative, then the partial derivative of S, all over the partial derivative of P, keeping T constant, keeping T constant. All right. So the first one we bring out is this, right? So this, and uh, the second one is this, and uh, the third one is this, and then the fourth one is this. So let me write them in one place. All right. So now the first one. We write we have partial derivative of t all over the partial derivative of v keeping s constant is going to give us minus into the partial derivative of p all over the partial derivative of s keeping uh v constant. All right. Then the second one is the second one. Okay, let me not use this sign again. Let's just leave it here. All right, the second one is this. We have the partial derivative of t all over the partial derivative of p, keeping s constant, keeping s constant, which is going to be equal to what? Partial derivative of v all over the partial derivative of s. Partial derivative of v all over the partial derivative of s, keeping p constant, keeping p constant. All right, so this, the third one, the third one is the partial derivative of P all over the partial derivative of T. The partial derivative of T keeping V constant is going to be equal to the partial derivative, partial derivative of S all over the partial derivative of V keeping T constant. All right. And the fourth one, the fourth one is this. So the fourth one is this. Let me write it here. So we said the partial derivative of V all over the partial derivative of T, keeping T constant is equal to minus into the partial derivative of S all over the partial derivative of P, keeping T constant. All right. So this equation here, this equation here, these four equations here. They are called the Maxwell, Maxwell, Maxwell equation. So I hope you can prove this now. So if you have any question on this, you can just place it in our uh, comment section. And don't forget to join our WhatsApp group. This is where we have 29 students. Here we can uh, talk more. If you have any question, you can drop it on uh, the WhatsApp group. Well, thanks.